and it's your former club Tottenham Hotspur having to go up to Anfield tomorrow night. Can Spurs get anything out of this or is there any hope? Because it's always been a pretty bad hunting ground for Tottenham over the years. I mean, there was one time it was like 72 years where Spurs never won. That hoodoo was broken. But what do you think about tomorrow? Well, it just depends which Spurs is going to turn up, doesn't it? I mean, we've seen the inconsistency of them this season. Uh, we've seen them have a fantastic result away at Manchester City and then get beaten against Burnley uh, in the week after following that game. I think that's what's cost Spurs um, not, not having fourth place already sealed up this season. I think between them and Arsenal, um, that the inconsistency, uh, not picking up points where they should have picked up points. It's going to be a tough game for Spurs. I mean, Liverpool are on the high, obviously getting into the Champions League final. Um, and it's a different mentality for Manchester City, who are lower than a snake's belly at the moment, especially after you know, the result in midweek. They've got to have to pick themselves up and go again against Newcastle. Um, it's a home game for them, which will be a, an easier task than going away to St. James's. But Liverpool are in a great place at the moment. They're competing on all fronts. Uh, they're in the Champions League final. And it's going to be a very, very difficult game for Spurs to go up there. You look at Liverpool's fixtures, you look at Manchester City's fixtures, you wouldn't expect either of them to lose another game between now and the end of the season. I think on paper, it's, it's a tough ask for Spurs to go there, but they can cause them problems. We've seen the front three of Son, Kane, Kulazewski. On the day, they can cause anybody a problem, but then they go two games without creating a chance or a shot on goal. So yes, Liverpool will have to be at the best to beat Spurs, um, but Spurs can cause them problems and it's an opportunity. Listen, Spurs have got to win to finish fourth. Um, everybody talks about this North London derby that's coming up. It's a huge game between them and Arsenal, which decides fourth place, the Champions League spot. But like I said to you before, the inconsistency that they both have. If we're talking about Liverpool and Manchester City, you'd say, yes, they'll win every game around that London derby. And that's the decider. But with these two teams, you just don't know. So as, as far as Spurs are concerned, then, I mean, I saw you, of course, undercover. There was hat and glasses on <laughs> um, at the Brentford game where it almost seems, and a lot of Spurs fans are saying this, it may suit them better to go up to Anfield and play Liverpool than playing Brighton or playing Brentford because they might open up a little bit more. Am I clutching at straws, do you think? No, you're not. I mean, you look at the way that they performed against Manchester City. They went up to Manchester, they took the game to them. They played a different style. They attacked them, they got in behind them and they got the win that nobody expected them to get. Um, regardless of who Spurs play, you, you, you don't know what, the, what's, what team's going to turn up. And like I say, the inconsistency has been the issue for them all season. And Arsenal seem to be picking up some consistency at the right time. I mean, they've gone to Chelsea and won. They've beat Manchester United at home and they've gone to West Ham and won. Three games on the bounce, which is three massive results for them. So it's going to be a really interesting running. But like you say, um, regardless of who Spurs play, but they do tend to, to play better against the bigger sides. If Liverpool are going to open up and come and attack Spurs, it leaves space in behind. Yeah, I've got, to, I've got to ask you about Leeds United. Of course, this is the club that you started at, uh, spent your early careers where you made your name. Things not looking too great for Leeds. You know, we've got Jesse Marsh there. We've got the American coach that's come in. Seemed like everything's going to change after Bielsa went. Um, they've got to play Arsenal, and now they're in that relegation battle. I mean, how are you feeling about Leeds? Because it's almost between them and Everton at the moment, it seems, for that other place. Well, Burnley somewhere have done a massive Lazarus act. You know, they've started winning games. The points that they've picked up is incredible what they've done. And they've put Leeds and Everton right in the mire. Um, a couple of weeks ago, Leeds had a great result at home and they went away to Watford, uh, got a result. And you're thinking, you know, that's, that's, that's them going to be safe. You know, you're thinking the gap between them and the bottom three, it was big enough where this season, it looks like at one point, five or six weeks ago, that 35, 36 points was going to be enough to keep you safe. And it might even be more than that this year, just simply because of the way that Burnley have played. Um, Leeds are in trouble. I think they've got a big, big game this weekend. Uh, and then they've got another big fixture the week after. They've got Brighton and Brentford in the last two games of the season, which is going to be pivotal for them. But they're winnable games on paper. But when you're in the bottom three and you're struggling and you desperately need a win, those games take on a completely different complexion. You know, it, it's it, the nervousness, the anxiousness that, that comes on board in the dressing room with the players, with the manager. They all of a sudden become must-win games. Everton had a massive, massive result against Chelsea last week. I mean, that was a huge blow for Leeds. And it's, it's, going, to be a, it's going to be a really tough fight to the finish for, for both Everton and Leeds. And Burnley as well. Listen, they, they've had a couple of great results, but it's between the three of them who go down. I mean, it's going to be as interesting at the bottom as it is at the top. It really is. And I'm going to ask, I'd never dream of asking you who you think is going to go down, but what's your gut feeling then apart from the other two? The, the bottom two, who's the other one that you think is going to join the other two, uh, along with Watford and Norwich? What's your gut feeling at the moment, Paul? 
Well, I've played for both Burnley and Leeds, and Leeds is, Leeds is my team. I still live, live up here, uh, get to the club regularly. So I'd love to see Leeds stay up, and I'd love to see Burnley stay up. But Everton is, is a club that I, I admired. I used to love playing there at Goodison. I mean, the, the fans there, the support there. You look at their support last week against Chelsea, that's what got them over the line. And to think that a club of that stature could go out of the league. Yep. In all honesty, I wouldn't want to see any of the three go. But if I had to pick one, it'd be Everton. OK. Listen, good to speak to you, Paul. We appreciate your time. Enjoy the weekend. Plenty of football coming up. And, and, and now back to the WD40 department now. Yeah. So.